it is annual take care of your uh, what is it today we're going to pick up the cars they are finally here after a week vacation in Honolulu they both have decided to make the trip to Guam I guess customs is done with them and so we can go get them unfortunately it's not as easy as that sounds so here's the process we have to go to the DMV get a temporary permit once we get the temporary permit we can drive across the island to the port go through the customs processing and pick up the cars once we pick up the cars we need to go get a safety inspection once we get the safety inspection we can register the cars and get Guam license plates then at some point we need to come back and get his and hers Guam driver's licenses we've got the Noi Dink and Dr. B all along for moral support Step one DMV in the old Costco building. Phase one is complete. We've got our permit to pick up the cars from the port. So that's the next step. All right, we finished step two. We just left the Matson office. They got the nice blue carabao. Uh, left the Matson office with uh, our bills of lading. Our bill of ladings. You're other right, military right. So now we need to go to the port, have the entry people stamp our forms, have the customs people stamp the forms, and pay like 10 bucks a car, which I think we only got like $10 cash, so we're gonna need to find some cash along the way. All right, step 2.5. We had to score some cash for the customs payoff. They charged $3. Wonderful. Then we go to the guard shack, give our double stamp paperwork to the guard, and he'll give them the all clear signal that they can drive the cars back and give them to us. Still got a ways to go. We were told to head down this road and take a right before we get to the power plant highway. Before the power plant. Big building with the flagpoles. Guess we're in the right spot. They even got an ATM. Man, I got in the customs line and I forgot the cash. Let's see if I can borrow some from the wife. All right, we're in business. Now we just need to pick up the cars. I was in there and the customs fee was 1078. So I hand him a 20, and the guy takes it, runs back, comes back to me and he says, uh, sir, do you have anything smaller? We, we don't have any change. I said, no, man, I had to stop at the ATM to get that for you guys. So I got a check. I said, no, nah, we don't take checks. So literally, three guys in the office were rifling through their wallets, trying to come up with $9.22 for change for me. And they did it. Kudos to the Guam Customs guys. I just talked to the guard and uh, just wait for them to bring the cars out. You can see the truck right there. <laughs> Woo!
Ranger's making his first appearance in Guam. Look at that beautiful backdrop. We got the van behind us. And windows are pretty dirty. Other than that, it's fine. Seems to be running good. Now we need to head back to the hotel. Get our passports and social security cards so we can get uh, driver's licenses. Then we need to stop and uh, have the cars safety inspected. We also need to get air in the tire of the van. One of the van's tires is almost flat. And once we get the safety inspections, then we'll head back to the DMV. We'll try the old uh, one-two knockout punch. See if we can get driver's licenses and vehicle registrations done in the same visit. Dang. How hard this is to film, shift gears at the same time? I suppose it's a skill like anything else. Man, I got the air condition working. Woo! Ranger's back in business. If you live in Guam and you happen to be the governor, that's where you live. It's uh, 12.30. I think a DMV closes at four, so I think we're still looking good for time. Heading to the hotel, we're gonna get our documents, make a copy of our driver's licenses, then it's off to safety inspection land. The truck was given a clean bill of health. The car is now a Guamanian. Check this out, the car is a 4795, the truck is a 4796. We're standing in line. Nino hasn't been feeling very good the last couple days, so he had a fever yesterday. I've been standing in line 20 minutes to register the, the cars. I'm number next. And he says, Dad, I gotta puke. I looked down and his face was just pale white. Are you sure you're gonna puke? <laughs> He's like, yeah. I said, can you run outside real quick if you need to puke? Daddy's next in line. He's like, no, I need to puke now. So we just took off. We ran to the bathroom, got about halfway there. He puked in his hands, ran all the way down his shirt. Poor guy. We made it into the bathroom, just in time for him to clean his hands and his face up. Felt fine. Waited in line for about 15 minutes. Anyways, got the registration taken care of. I went over and got in the driver's license line. Got my driver's license. And that's it. I was thinking this is going to take at least two days, but uh, one day to do everything. I proved it can be done. And today is a successful mission day.